In today's technology-driven world, it has become important, now more than ever, to expose children to computational thinking as early as possible so they can keep track of the ever-changing trends dominating the world. The latest in robotics and artificial intelligence is exploring how we can fully deploy technologies that have been around for years and adapt them to our everyday routines. And at this robotics center in Lagos, the younger generation are learning to increase their ability to be creative, innovative thinkers and productive members of the society. We identified a gap in the ability of the young generation to come up with creative solutions that can use technology and the platforms available to us to solve problems. And we realized that this gap needs to be filled. And the only way to fill it is to create a process whereby this, this young generation can learn. And we decided to focus on training because we can't expect them to learn from nowhere. Somebody has to teach them. And of course, we can't rely on government anymore because the institutions are not even designed to have that capacity. So we set out here at the Robotics Center <clears throat> to create a, a, a place where our environment, where we can stimulate ideas. We can build upon those ideas. We can test them out by developing pro prototypes. And then hopefully where we see potentials, we take it into production. Here, they not only discover the variety of automation solutions, but also get their hands on innovative projects using strict STEM guidelines. It's not just about creating an app, developing a website or programming a house, they can program robots and position themselves to properly take advantage of emerging technologies. This is a prototype of a toy car. So this um, toy car was made with the most basic robotic components. An Arduino, um, DC motors, several motors and a Bluetooth module. So the Arduino contains the code that controls the toy car the DC motors are used for the wheels and the Bluetooth module connects the toy car to the remote control. The remote control is actually an app that I also designed using MIT App Inventor. I've made a quad pod because it has four legs. That's why I call it a quad pod. So it just mimics um, living things behavior. The bionics. Bionics are devices or systems that mix behavior of living things. I used 12 servo motors as the joints, to, as an actuator, just like our joints on our body to enable movement. So there's an Arduino board here, which is a microcontroller, which is the brain of the system. There is a PCA driver that drives all 12 servo motors at once. You can use other drivers to drive them, but I use the PCA driver. There's a battery to power the Arduino and the PCA driver separately. And there's an ultrasonic sensor. So when it moves, when, if there's an obstacle in front, it takes some steps back and turns to that direction and keep on moving. Working in groups, the young minds explore solutions not limited to the COVID-19 pandemic like a home automation system, a smart home waste bin, a humanoid prototype and a medical ventilator. As you can see, this is a ventilator that doesn't require an oxygen cylinder. It generates its own oxygen by itself. There is a concentrator here. So the oxygen is generated at this section. Then you have the airbag valve here. This is where the oxygen that has been generated from this section is channeled to this section. And then through this mechanism, the compression mechanism, the oxygen is 
pass through a filter here this is an air filter then passes through the pipe to the to the patient so i we can actually demo how to wear the mask So as you can see, you can observe the flip here is opening and closing. So that's a proof that oxygen is actually going through the patients. I'm here to demo a home automation system that can be controlled via a web interface. And to make, to make this, we use an ESP32 as a microcontroller. And the buttons on the interface are used to communicate with the microcontroller. So to turn the lights off, I'm going to turn off the lights in the room right now and then I turn it back on. And we have the controller connected to these devices. So if I want to turn on or off the 3D printers, and they are both off at the moment. So I'm turning it back on, and they are both on. So this uses Wi-Fi as the connection medium. This is a smart home waste bin. And the main aim is to be able to enable someone trash the user to trash it to trash garbage without having contact with the waste bin. So it has a lot, it works with the ultrasonic sensor, which is mounted at the front of the waste bin, to be able to sense the garbage coming in. So it switches on because it uses the yeah, adapter. Then senses the vein, it opens and it closes immediately after. Artificial intelligence, robotics and coding are just some of the many ideas that have been reserved for the technically inclined adults. But exposing younger minds to these concepts encourages them to improve their intellectual capacity in science and technology.